Hey there, thank you for joining me, Stanley, for another Saturday. Uh, normally would have been greeted by me twice already this week. Um, been trying to stick with doing devotionals on Wednesday, um, doing something fun on a Friday, and then uh, this video on Saturday where we um, go into something that's going to be deeper in thought. Uh, normally the way that I break up this and the devotional video is that the, the devotional video is more focused on what I guess most devotionals are focused on. I read from a devotional that I've had um, over you know the past week or so. Sometimes I've saved up devotionals for a little while, but um, and a lot of the times it's about um, something very specific in the moment, something that I guess is less, you know, think about this thing and a lot more allow this to change the way that you act. Um, it might be a call to action. It might be a call to um, change the way you view yourself, um, allowing you to see yourself more as God sees you. Um, but that's kind of the, the devotional. The Saturday video normally is, um, you know, let's take some time, let's think. Let's actually take time to mentally think about things that are going on. So we took a long time looking at postmodernism, which looks at how we think and how we come to understanding. Um, and this week, um, just didn't get the Wednesday video out. Um, uh, didn't get out on Wednesday. Thought maybe I would try to do it Thursday. Ran out of time Thursday. And so I said, okay, well, I'm just going to do the Friday video. And then the uh, tablet I've been recording these on, it's my wife's um, Surface tablet, and um, it ran out of space, and so I kept trying to record it, and then Friday got too busy for me to actually record it. I was able to um, delete some old stuff off of it to open up some space, but it still um, left me unable to do this. And a lot of times when these things happen, I'll just, I'll get very frustrated. I'll get very down on myself. Um, and on the one hand, I'll kind of think of the the reasons, um, you know, why it should be okay that I didn't get all this stuff done. Um, you know, why, why did I go ahead and not get a video done Wednesday or Thursday? Why did I not get the video done on Friday? Um, and I'll think through all of that. But I will also then very quickly say that's not good enough and beat myself up over not doing what I should have. And um, I, I really do believe and, and I feel that a lot of times we are our own harshest critic. Every little criticism that we get, we magnify ourselves. So it's not that we might not take on a criticism from someone else, but when someone else criticizes us, suddenly that becomes our critique and we make it 10 times worse than whatever anyone else said. Um, you know, I'm really bad um, about uh, when I go to announce something that the church is doing, um, there, there's kind of a rule in repetition that you when there's there's something happening to make sure that people retain it you need to say it often enough you need to repeat it and it has often translated to me to I'll, I'll attempt in the moment to clarify and repeat things you know way too many times and then i will continue saying the same things over and over again and all of a sudden now instead of you know i had one announcement that we were doing something a month ago and I'm still announcing that we're doing that thing um, every single week. And um, I'll, I'll get a lot of people rightfully telling me, you know, you, you got to shorten up announcements. And there are a lot of times where I take that criticism and I'll say, I know I should. So why am I so bad at doing this? You know, why can't I get this right? And you just go through the cycle in your head. And, and I think a lot of us do it about all sorts of things. 
Um, you know, you have a bad day at work and things don't go well. And all of a sudden it's like, well, why couldn't I do this thing? Or why couldn't I handle those people? Or, or why did this thing have to happen? Or, you know, maybe it's dealing with family and you, you say something you shouldn't, you react in a way you shouldn't have. And it's, oh, why, why do we do that? Why, why do I keep doing that? Why I know I should do better. I can't believe I keep going, falling into this habit. And it just cycles over and over and over again. And it, it becomes such a big problem because there are so many times where whatever the thing is that we're criticizing ourselves for, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. You know, yeah, it can be frustrating and, and sometimes it really is a, an issue how long I end up taking with announcements. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it it's not causing that many problems. It's something that I should work on. It's something I should be better at, but it's not causing that many problems. I missed a couple videos. It'll be okay. It's not the end of the world. You... You said something you shouldn't have. You hurt someone. And and there are things that, that some people will do that are that, that bad and that need to be worked through with a lot of time and a lot of hard work. But so often when we are criticizing ourselves that harshly for it, it's not one of those things. What we often end up doing is when we make those big mistakes... We do our best to minimize it so it seems like it could be forgiven, but all these little ones that build up, we build them up to such a huge extent that we kind of start questioning whether they really are forgivable. And, you know, I, I didn't have a, a set in stone plan for what I was going to do today. But kind of feeling all of this, especially last night into today, I thought maybe I should just take a moment to, to bring this up. And, you know, as a Christian, I have a, a good way of dealing with this. Because it's not just that, in my mind, it's not that big of a deal, but, you know, it could really bother someone else. And, you know, in their mind, this is you know, crossing a line too far. But as, as a Christian, I believe that God forgives us of our sins. When we ask forgiveness from God, God is has mercy available every time we come to him. God is willing to forgive us when we honestly come to him, repent and turn from our sins. So it's not that I'm purposefully doing something wrong just and then just saying, hey, God, sorry about that one. Can you forgive it? just so I can continue going on, but it's that, no, like, I want to do better. I want to change. God, can you please forgive me and help me move in the right direction now? And honestly, so many times, God is a lot more willing to forgive us, especially when it's about all those small things, than we are to forgive ourselves. God's more willing to forgive us of the big stuff than we're willing to forgive ourselves. We think that we have to minimize the big stuff for God to be able to forgive it. And we come up with all these excuses and all these reasons. And God's like, I'm not interested in the reasons. I'm not interested in the excuses. Jesus went to a cross and died for us, not because our excuses were good enough, not because, oh, it wasn't really that big of a deal. He went to the cross and died for us because he loved us. And when we begin to experience that and allow that to work within us, it can change a lot. And so really, as I was trying to think about what to say for today, this is not the typical Saturday video because um, I just wanted to extend some grace. Um, 
you know, maybe you have made one of those huge mistakes. Um, it takes hard work. Repentance isn't easy. Trying to change, trying to do something different is not an easy thing. And if you've made one of those huge mistakes, um, the first way to start correcting it is to stop making the excuses for it and admit that you did something wrong and it hurt other people and it was not okay and you need to change and you need to start doing things better and just being honest about it and and then coming to God and asking for forgiveness, coming to people you've hurt and asking for forgiveness. But I think there's a lot of us where the mistakes are a little bit more like mine. Didn't get the videos out when I wanted to. Uh, and just got upset at myself and magnified it, you know, messed something up, small mistake. It's the kind of thing that can be said, okay, you know what, that, that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and we need to hear God has forgiven those mistakes already. They're already forgiven. As soon as we come to God and say, God, I'm sorry, they're forgiven. It's okay. Give yourself grace because God has plenty of grace for you. And the only way that we're going to find the ability to give grace to someone else is by allowing it to come to ourself. So I'm going to, I'm going to end this with a, with a brief prayer of confession. Um, and I'm going to give two of them, one for those big mistakes, one for the smaller ones. And um, then I will deliver to us the words of uh, assurance and I'll thank you for joining me. So let's pray. Wow, God, I screwed up big time. And I've tried to downplay it. I, I've I've tried to, to name all the excuses and come up with all the reasons why and um, tried to make it seem like it really wasn't that big of a thing and that if so many other people were in my position, they would have done the same thing. But God, what I did was wrong. It was so wrong. I hurt so many people, God. Please forgive me. Please heal me. Please, God, help me change. I want to do better. Now, oh God, I name that thing that I did in my heart before you without the excuses, without the changing words around to make it sound better. Please, God, because of your abundant mercy in Jesus, please forgive me. Well, God, I did it again. I I messed up and God, I'm so upset at myself for it. And as I take a moment to, to try to think a bit more clearly about what I did wrong, uh, you know, honestly, it probably was a small thing. It wasn't that big. It wasn't that devastating. It, it, it was an honest mistake. Please, God, help me do better. Please forgive me because it was still wrong. Help me to do better. God, help me feel in the depths of my soul the forgiveness that you extend to me now. Because I know that your mercies are new every day. 
and that your grace and your love are so much bigger than I will ever imagine. So please help me feel some of that today so that I can help to share it with those around me. Amen. Now I want you to hear this assurance. Jesus didn't die for us because of our excuses. He didn't die for us because we were good enough. He didn't die for us because we hadn't done those certain things that were wrong. Jesus died for us while we were sinners. And that proves God's love for us. So in the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Amen. Thank you for joining me. God bless you guys.